decided to, to play in the street uh, because it's, it's something fantastic when, uh, when you're playing in front of, of new people, in front of people you, you have never met before, you know. The difference between playing in the street uh, and in like clubs or something like that is like in the street nothing is sure, then the street is always changing, it's always moving, like people in the street, they are always moving. So it's like starting from zero, it's like create something new, it's like creating a new situation. That otherwise, if you would not be there, the situation uh, could not exist, you know what I mean. So that's it, it's uh, like creating uh, something new. I think uh, maybe it's the way I do. I, I'm doing this. This is the way I, because I decided to be myself when I play percussion, when I play drums with recycled objects. So that's make my show unix. Also, the material I use maybe they have particular sound and that's it. But this is another another matter. I'm, I do it, I, I like to do it with my soul. I like to express myself. Uh, I'm at the top. <laughs> it's the most, mm, the most beautiful thing I ever tried in my life. The very first experiment was in London four years ago. I used to live there for almost one year and I saw a lot of street artists playing there and doing different things from mine and I watched them and I decided to do to express myself in the streets. When I was a child I listened to a lot of electronic music from the Hades and I liked the sound, I liked the keyboards, I liked the electronic drums. But when I was a kid, I didn't know how to produce that sound because I didn't know there were synthesizers or electronic drum machines. So what I was trying to do when I was a kid is to obtain these sounds with objects. Because uh, maybe if I should have played with real stuff, real, real, real drums, uh, it, it would have sounds different. So that's it. Uh, this, 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 my job. Came from came from a lot far. Came from my very early years of life. And then four years ago in London for the first time, it came to my mind to uh, like uh, find out again that, that idea I had when I was a child and to do in front of uh, very uh, unknown people, you know. But uh, I didn't trust myself enough to do as a job at first because maybe I was like. Mm. This is not a job, it's something like uh, I cannot do in the future. But then, uh, last, last summer, last year, I went to Berlin, I took with me all my stuff, and I just wanted to have a holiday, you know, uh, for 10 days. I played in Alexanderplatz one, uh, one afternoon, it was afternoon, and there was one guy who filmed me, he made a video of me. And the video has reached uh, over 2 million visualizations on YouTube. And I didn't, I didn't expect it was like this because it was just to make a holiday, you know. I just took my stuff to, okay, let's see what happened. Okay, why well, I was like this. So I didn't expect it, but when I was back to Italy, people started contacting me. People started clicking like on my, on my Facebook page. And so I'm here right now, I'm traveling and doing this. I'm, I'm simply doing this. I 
think an artist has also to learn uh, to keep uh, their time for him. Otherwise, a passion, you, you, you can use the passion for you or, you know, to destroy you as well. And so I want to use my passion to communicate to people. Because when you do something too much, it's not good. You have to be, you know, uh, balanced. Balanced. Yes, that's it. Between your job and your personality. This is a very important thing I'm talking about. Maybe it, it, it doesn't look like so important, but it is. It is also important to communicate to people with positive energy. Because you, if you are balanced, people understand your quiet. And you can do what you want to do. job but it's a passion first of all and I want to be freely like this.